flame. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's really fucking nice looking. I like the, uh, I like the little PRS faux binding. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. And this little cutaway here. Yeah, it's a comfortable guitar to play. This? Yeah, it, uh, so that's why I was telling, that's what made me think of it. Uh, I was watching John Mayer and he was doing this little, like, I basically tighten the screws up. Anyway, that's it was, fine. It's all good. A bit. Okay, so it's just the jack. Check this out too. So when you do this, oh, this nice. is just this one. Um, so literally, like, then you got half, put them together, noise cancel, and they sound like oh, a nice. they sound like a telly almost. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's really decent. All right, well, that's what the uh, I don't know what's wrong. The jack just stopped working. Whip, whip the screws off. And I know it's not the cable because I tried three cable and I tried the cable with another guitar and it was fine, so... Now it's gonna work, of course. Fuck. There must have been something loose. Maybe you could touch up the solder joint. I don't know, maybe there's something loose. Solder weird. joint looks fine. It's okay. It's not why even... Wouldn't it, why wouldn't it work? I have no idea, dude. That's weird. weird. No, it's fine. So, well, whatever's causing it is obviously not this. Not this output jack. Fuck, I tried a cable. <laughs> Nothing could have happened just by opening it up like that, eh? Ah, uh, maybe my cable screwed up then. Well, as long as it works, so I can fix it, right? Like, yeah, let's hope so, eh? <laughs> let's just open it up and make sure there's not any. Oh, for fuck's sakes, why do guitar companies insist on using. Seven different fucking sizes of screws. <laughs> like seriously. On a strap, all the fucking screws are exactly the same size. Yeah. I did open this thing to tighten the uh yeah, yeah. and the uh the mass is very significant. Like Yeah, it looks a, like a pretty thick it's uh pretty thick. And it looks like a pretty thick uh plate or um yeah, the metal uh the name of it right now. Neither. <laughs> oh shit, does that still have plastic on it? Probably. No. No? No man, this all looks clean as... Has nobody been in here? No, eh? No. It's all factory. Yeah, nobody's touched this. Cool. Well, it's just a cleanup job then. Yeah, Sorry. this is all totally, completely factory. <laughs> Nothing wrong with any of this. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, we'll try it after we string it up. But yeah. That would be the most logical culprit from what you told me, and I don't. It's okay. It must be the cable then. Although it's weird because I tried it with the Godet, and the Godet had no issues. It started right away, and I tried it again. It didn't work. I'm like, maybe it was the angle. You know, maybe there's a break in the angle, and if I move the angle, who knows? I really like this finish. The color. This finish is nice. Yeah. And the neck feels really good. What is this? Is Korean? Yeah. So these would be made in the same factory that the... Um, I think these are the same, this is the same factory as Chapman guitars. A really uh, a good thing about their design, eh, for their headstock, you notice the strings are not being pulled like other guitars, right? So yeah. they're getting even tension, which is... Yeah, it's really right. nice. Fucking cock, fucking cock sucker. Why would you do this? Yeah, this is what I want to do every time I have to fucking pull a set of strings off. This bullshit. What did he do? He wrapped it around? Fucking inside the post, twice. Oh. Yeah, so John Mayer plays these. I know he plays the Strat, but uh, that's cool. I, I just that. heard that. I just heard that, and then I Googled it, and uh, he's done a video with him playing. That's cool. Paul Reed Smith. Two humbuckers. They do, uh, they make their own humbuckers, and it doesn't like they don't outsource that. So Yeah, I know, I know. It's their own. Their own sound. <clears throat> My new secret weapon. You need some of that oil stuff, or? Nope. Oh, what is that? Posh. Ha ha ha. This stuff's awesome. And you use a Dremel for it? Yeah, fucking works quite. 
just did my guitar like this. Sweet. Yeah, it's good. it works. Awesome. These little attachments for the Dremel. Yeah. Yeah, watch this. This is fucking awesome. Oh, nice. Once you get down to these bottom frets, it's a bit of a pain because it's. Yeah, it's really later. <laughs> I planned to. I did that to mine. Dreams. Oh, those cobalt strings, have you tried those? Cobalt, no. I tried the ones. Was it you that dropped those off here? I don't know. Rooney Ball Cobalts? Yeah, yeah, I did. Don't. Are they horrible? They're fucking horrible. Oh, yeah? They're awful. I've had them on a week. Hate them. Hate them. They're dead. They're done. <laughs> I, I like the elixirs and I like the the Gibsons. I, I haven't put. I, I, I was gonna put the elixirs on my my less on my SG, but yeah. I thought oh, I'll try these Ernie Ball Cobalt. See what the deal is. The t like the three wound strings feel weird. I don't like them. Not my speed at all. Okay. All right, man. Let's put a little bit of uh, a little bit of dick splitch. <laughs> My new, new bottle of this. I'm gonna rash people on YouTube saying, "Don't do this to your neck. You don't need to put oil on your neck." But at Rosewood, it's not bad. I've heard nothing. Really bad. I don't think you're hurting your neck. It looks better. They say not to do it on the maple because of the locker. locker. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, because it wouldn't do anything to locker. Yeah, exactly. So it'd be like going lower the body of your guitar. Yeah, exactly. Locker, but on a Rosewood neck. So, oh, Oil from your fingers and all this bullshit. Okay. I don't disbelieve you, but it's not going to keep me from doing it. No, I've used that for years and it's never hurt. I've put it on $2,000, $3,000 guitars and it's never had a problem. In fact, it brings out the color nicely. Yeah, I like the way it looks. If nothing else, I like the way it looks. And I like it. feels good. It feels nice. And it conditions the wood. I mean, it's going to protect it, I think, from cracking or a while. I don't know about cracking protecting it. Well, if you do that. Well, that's the theory, right? The theory is to keep it from drying out. Yeah. So, yes, you're right. Okay. But I don't think a uh, fingerboard is going to crack if you don't do this to it. Yeah. No. But it just looks better. It looks better. It feels better. Green. It smells better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is looking good. It's starting to look good. Let's just put some strings on it. And then Jack will fail. Oh, we're done. <laughs> so you want to put these ones on there? Sure, man. No, do you attach out? No, no it's, attach out. it's probably fine. If I, uh, well, I, it would have failed while I was pulling it. must that. be my cable. Yeah, but look. i got all this wonderful stuff done to it, which is... Almost... Well, we'll just make the sale easier, right? It will. This guy will pick it up and it'll... Look like somebody cared about it rather yeah, than keep watching the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more I can't like. Whenever I get a guitar ready for sale, <clears throat> which I haven't done in a while, but every time I get a guitar ready to go out, I polish it and I clean it and I put a fresh set of strings on it yeah. and I I do everything I can to make sure that it looks good and that it's going to play right. Like I've had many times. Guy's about to come over, plug it in, like, oh, fuck, we, why isn't this working? You know what I mean? Like, shit like you had. Yeah. Doing the last minute fix, like, fucking pot or something like that. But I check it, right? Like, I check, I mean, does everything work? Just as though I were the one to buy it. And anything that I can, you know, that I haven't already taken care of, then I just clean it. But fuck, you show up at some guy's houses, it's like, Look like they just had their lunch on Looks it. Looks like they had pizza on it. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's fucking sat in the corner somewhere. <laughs> Sometimes that's the diamond in the rough. They don't know what they got. Which yeah, I don't nice. mind getting those guitars, right? Because yeah. you can sort of see through yeah. what's there. That was like the first SG I got. I paid fucking 650 bucks for it. Yeah. Like, it hasn't even expanded from humidity. You know, it's just, no, it's really it good. It's pretty good. It feels... Um, it probably sat in the case for a while. and Probably. You know, Probably do. It's a bit of buckle rash. Maybe the guy before played it because it's obviously dirty. It's been played, but I never really get buckle rash like on guitars that are like a dude is sat at home with. Like, what the fuck are you rubbing up against? I know. 
Seriously. And if I had a guitar, it was worth a lot of money. I would be careful. Like, I would move the buckle to the side or some shit. Like, put a shirt over it or something. I don't know. Well, some guys just I don't play my expensive Some guys guitars. just don't give a fuck. But I, what I wonder is, how did you, like, what are you doing at home? Are you putting on a rock show at home? Like, uh, what are you doing at home that got you to this point? That got you to <laughs> this amount of buckle rash on a guitar you only played in your living room? Do you have the trim that came with us? Yep. Yeah. It's in the uh, grab it for me, dude. In case. Stretching the strings way easier. Sure. I usually get my Yukon yank. Yeah, but well, watch this little trickity trick. <laughs> Barbity click. Yeah, it's really ergonomic feeling. You know what? This is the this is the only PRS I've ever picked up that I didn't hate. I didn't that you didn't hate? Yeah, that I didn't immediately hate. <laughs> hey, look, it came with this shit too. That's not it, but... What is all this? All extra springs. Pressure adjustment. Cool. Here it is. Yeah, we did. It's a poppin'. Nice. Or something, or I think just it's just pop it in like a, like the deluxe strats and stuff. They always need adjusting anyway when you're brand new for first day. Just don't want it to go out of tune while the guy's trying it. That's true. Huh? That's the other thing, eh? Tune your fucking guitar before I show up. Yeah. Like, hand me a guitar that's wildly out of tune. This is a sign that you haven't touched it in a long time. A strand. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this biznatch. Do, 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 do. This sounds good. Fucking great. It's not that tone. It's not that tone of that. Oh my goodness. Because they're noise cancelling. 